Hepatitis B is an infection of the liver and it can be acute or chronic. It is caused by the hepatitis B virus, HBV, which is a double-stranded DNA virus. The risk of developing chronic hepatitis B is highest if infected at birth or less than 5 years. Infection as an adult has a less than 5% risk of progression to chronic hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is commonly asymptomatic. In acute hepatitis, lethargy, nausea, fever and anorexia start for a few days and then jaundice, pale stools and dark urine appear. Incubation of hepatitis B is 45 to 180 days, the mean is 60 days. Chronic hepatitis is infection lasting over six months and can be lifelong. As for the complications of hepatitis B, there can be cirrhosis, which manifests in ankle swelling, ascites, GI bleeding, encephalopathy, and jaundice. Another serious complication is hepatocellular carcinoma, which can present with abdominal mass. In acute and chronic hepatitis B, we would find AST and ALT to be elevated. Hepatitis B surface antigen would be present in current hepatitis B infection. As for the hepatitis B surface antibody, it means that this person has immunity to hepatitis B infection. As for the hepatitis B core antibody, it means that there's been previous exposure to hepatitis B. The hepatitis B envelope antigen is associated with higher infectivity while the hepatitis B envelope antibody is associated with lower infectivity. And the hepatitis B DNA, which is the viral load, it means viral replication and increased viral load means more infectious and more likely to damage the liver. Patients of unknown status should always have three initial tests performed which are the hepatitis B surface antigen, hepatitis B surface antibody and hepatitis B co-antibody and that is to determine infectious, infectious status and the need for vaccination. Management of acute hepatitis B involves supportive care and hospital admission if required. In cases where there is chronic hepatitis, uh, they may need further investigation and possible treatment with antiviral agents and specialist review and management. In cases of cirrhosis, where there can be ankle swelling, ascites, gastrointestinal bleeding, encephalopathy and jaundice, Specialist review should be done if suspected, and patients with cirrhosis require treatment with antiviral therapy. As for the treatment advice, we should advise no sexual contact during acute illness unless partner is immune. Contact tracing should be done back to six months. The infectivity period of hepatitis B is between two weeks before the onset of symptoms and until the hepatitis B surface antigen is negative. We should also consider testing sexual contacts, household contacts, and close family members and vaccinated if not immune. Immunoglobulins are given in certain high-risk situations, such as sexual injecting or occupational expo exposure or as birth dose to reduce transmission from a hepatitis B surface antigen positive mother to her child. We should also provide the patient with fact sheet, notify the state and territory health department, and consider comprehensive STI testing. As for pregnant women, they need specialist review, infants need hepatitis B vaccination and immunoglobulin at birth. Mother may need an antiviral therapy to reduce transmission at birth. Finally, for follow-up, acute infection should be followed until hepatitis B surface antigen is negative. As for chronic infection, it requires lifelong follow-up including 6-12 to 12 monthly hepatitis B monitoring, 
yearly hepatitis B DNA viral load, liver function testing, and antiviral therapy if indicated. Certain populations with chronic hepatitis B require six monthly hepatocellular carcinoma screening, which involves abdominal ultrasound and alpha fetoprotein. We should also check hepatitis A status in vaccinated susceptible. Patients with chronic hepatitis B should be assessed for other causes of hepatitis such as alcohol and fatty liver and should be counseled to reduce these factors if relevant such as reducing alcohol intake. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.